this is the Otera team. I'm a Shaddai. I'm Ivan. I'm Boise. So Otera makes assistive cane device and it helps people get off the ground after a fall. So why is that important? Let's talk about the problem that we're trying to solve. So the problem that we're trying to solve is that uh, traditional canes don't help people get off the ground after a fall. In fact, because they don't have the stability and the support, they cause further injury. Additionally, uh, after a fall, people can't get up because the traditional cane doesn't help, or maybe they don't have a sturdy object around them. So um, it takes 30 minutes for paramedics to get there or for caregivers or even for nursing houses to find those people. And we're trying to give uh, people their independence back. So this is our solution. Uh, it's, an, it's called Ascend. It allows uh, an individual on the floor to be able to, uh, to stand up. Uh, it's very uh, ergonomic and designed uh, to be user-friendly. It also has a panic button um, a subscription that uh, keeps you in contact with a, a call center. Here's our cane being deployed individual uh, who falls over um, is able to to use to extend it to a tripod and then use it to work their way up to standing so why now uh, we have an aging population in the united states uh, that's only going to continue uh, to, to expand as the baby boomers enter globally, there's about 2.1 billion people that are over 60 plus, and in the United States specifically, there are about 13 million falls a year um, that result in 32,000 deaths. Um, that number is only going to continue to get bigger. And also, if we look at uh, market demand, it's about 20.1 billion dollars. And again, that number is only going to continue to increase. So to get this job done, we've assembled a world-class team. There's myself, Ivan El Shaddai, and we have uh, some incredible advisors behind us, with Ryan Krieger and Christopher Walsh. Yeah, so looking at our unit economics, uh, to make this gain, we anticipate that we're going to have costs, uh, including manufacturing, uh, marketing and sales, and variable overheads. Uh, this will bring up the variable cost per unit to about $83. So with a 50% markup, we hope to sell this device at $175. We're looking at our customers having a repeat purchase after a period of about seven and a half years. So that brings our lifetime value to $184 per customer. So this problem is something that has actually gained the attention of so many people, including uh, two research uh, groups at Purdue and Georgia Tech. Uh, these are engineers who are collaborating with us, helping us de-risk the manufacturing process, understand what materials to use, and also uh, help us understand who are going to be some of our manufacturing partners when we bring this to scale. In addition to that, we've talked to Christopher Walsh, who has 30 years of experience as a physiotherapist. Uh, when we told him about this idea, he jumped at it, was super excited because he has been working with so many senior citizen, citizens in assisted living homes who need this type of of, of assistive cane to help them get up when they fall. Okay, let's talk about the testimonials. And uh, one of it was my um, capstone advisor, Neil Kane. He talked about how his mother was 82 years old and she had a fall and she couldn't get up. She, was, she wasn't hurt, but she couldn't get up. So they had to call the paramedics. And he asked me if I have the device already made because he was looking to buy it. So... That's one testimonial. The second one is a person who left an impression on me was Ruth. Uh, she re mentioned that she recently had a fall and she was trying to get up and uh, she was using tr a traditional cane to get off the ground, but it slipped, it hit her ribs, fractured, and she was, she has to be hospitalized. And upon seeing the MVP on my phone, she looked at it and she said, I want that and I want to buy it. And finally, we have Ray, a friend of mine. He mentioned that his dad had a fall and he was stuck on the ground uh, trying to look for a sturdy object to lift himself off the ground. And this is a problem for so many people and a problem that we need to solve. And we have the testimonial to prove for them, to show for it. So the go-to-market strategy. Uh, so our target customers, we found that uh, we have the caregivers are our target customers, which are the children and the grandchildren of the seniors. Additionally, our sales channel is going to be B2B, meaning uh, partnering up with nursing houses and uh, physiotherapy clinics. Um, we're also going to have B2C, which is going to be Amazon. We're going to have an IP and targeted marketing to emails and um, yeah. 
Yeah, so we've had some traction. Uh, we've so far been able to bring on technical advisors to help us build this uh, idea. Uh, we've also uh, built an MVP, and now we're looking at securing our first 100 customers uh, to help us do beta testing among 50, 50 of them. And we plan to launch uh, this innovation in Q2 of 2025. So the assistive devices market is very, very large. Currently, it's about 6.6 .6 million senior citizens who need assistive canes. And about 33% of the US population is obese. So these are also potential customers who will need our assistive cane. Uh, the market is 20.1 billion. That's a total available market. And uh, looking at a 5% market share, we think we can actually corner uh, 120 million in, in uh, market share. So because we use a completely different form factor from all the other system devices on the market, we are able to beat our competitors in portability uh, and, and price. And all, additionally, we have our connectivity to our uh, to our call center for uh, additional help, which no other uh, none of the other similar products in the market have. These are our final projections. It's uh, our friends, our financial projections. It's also worth noting. We, uh, our subscriptions we're able to build upon our subscription as every every year and uh, create a recurring revenue so uh how are we planning to finance it so we're looking at fellowship and, and grants so the ones that we're currently applying for are the national science science foundation and the department of defense but uh the we also have elevate venture and we're currently in communication with them and um they have a fund for precede. They have a precede fund, and it offers up to a hundred thousand dollars for each startup, and that's something that we're looking at. Finally, the question is: Is it uh, Notre Dame? Of course, very good and social impact, and definitely it is. It's about empowering vulnerable population, uh, enhancing their independence, and also reducing the burdens on the caregivers. So we really hope to help people.